Yes guys, welcome back to Crypto Alert. Today I'm back and we're running through an upcoming Solana NFT project I am personally extremely excited about. For you to understand why that is the case, you will need to stick around until the end of this video. There's a bunch of big YouTubers also trying to get involved in the replies, trying to get themselves some wireless spots. Alongside it guys, all I'm going to say, that is the first sign that you should be looking at when looking to purchase a NFT or any big names that have made good calls in the past trying to get involved and in this case I've already spotted a couple as well in the replies. Before we go any further let me remind you I am giving away one soul steal. The winner will be announced tonight. I'm sorry for the delay so I haven't got to recording my second video last night but that will be announced later today. Also I'm doing a bunch of giveaways on my Twitter so definitely check that out. Link to that will be down in the description. So the NFT goes by the name of Lost Souls. It was about 300 followers a couple of days ago so they are growing pretty fast and it just started doing some marketing now right off the bat what stands out to me is the art itself it's extremely well put together really realistic and i could easily see a game being built around it like sims or something like a simulation game as well you can easily see this being implemented in different ways simply because of how well put together the art actually is how much work has also gone into it now the nft is going to be listed in soul c nft already i would love to see it to be listed in magic eden which i'm sure they will be doing later on but really right off the bat the art is absolutely tremendous a lot of work has definitely gone into it now one thing i did mention is the fact that a lot of big youtubers are also trying to get involved so far i've seen about two one of them being sergeant in the replies trying to get himself some wireless bots which in my opinion is some good alpha to know because he's probably going to make a video for them soon and i wouldn't be surprised if that is the case because it's such a good project and it's so new and there's not many eyes onto the project yet. Moving on to the website, again, the art is absolutely tremendous. Even the trim they've given this um, NFT looks amazing. The haircut looks really good, the jacket as well. It, you can tell these little details, like even the strap around the jacket, you can tell that, that a lot of work has gone into it. The, the tattoo here, the chain and everything, really well put together. The last sales are the most exclusive group of fashion-based human avatars on the Solana blockchain. And I've got to agree, they're probably the best one right now that I've personally come across. As you come down here, again, another piece of art they're working on. It reminds me of the GTA Vice City character. I don't know why, but it looks really good. And they got some info here on how many NFTs there's going to be. There's going to be 7,777 NFTs, which in my opinion is a pretty normal supply. Nothing crazy, nothing too high, but also nothing too low, which means a lot of people have the chance. Now, this is where in my opinion it gets interesting right at the start of the roadmap and by the way the website is such well put together which again is really impressive anyways the first teaser in the roadmap is the fact they will have 77 nfts initially which you're only going to be able to buy one per person so 77 different owners for the initial drop after that in teaser 2 the release of a physical token they'll be releasing a physical token and the token is to show gratitude and being an og to the project so being with them from the ground up these physical tokens are not meant to be tampered with just just as nobody wants a dollar that's been cut off no one will want one of these tokens that have been disfigured i'm not exactly sure what is that what's that what that's meant to mean however it is a teaser so it completely makes sense at teaser 3 they're going to release all 7700 of the nfts of course the first 77 being released earlier for the ogs to actually buy this is the second drop of the project that will follow a month after the first drop as genesis holder you will be able to mint two of these soul nfts and um, the second drop totaling three souls the remaining souls will then be made available to the public so yes they are really prioritizing the community and the people that have been with them from early on so again guys if you want to join them up follow the twitter and the discord the links will be down below and just stay updated you know just stay updated because that's exactly what i'm doing i'm waiting to see how everything unfolds closer to the release of the 7700 nfts if you guys are interested in getting into the whitelist it's going to be extremely hard i've got to say however i can definitely have an attempt in doing so a teaser for we have the release of the souls merch which i'll be showing you in a second they are also working on merch and that's where the money is at in the merch you'll be able to buy a uh, merch of course and um 
Teaser 5, they're going to have events for the holders. They're going to have meetups, parties, shows, conferences, and basically exclusive meetups for the members of the Soul Club. A teaser 6, access to the Souls Club. So not only will members be invited to the exclusive events, they will also be granted to a specific Soul Holder chat within the Discord. This chat, the Souls Club, will be for Soul Holders only and is meant to be a space where people can discuss ideas, share future goals, and collab together. Teaser 7, they are going to be working on their own app. So this app allows soul holders to meet new people, gain feedback on projects and as a tool to get the voice heard. Now, this will combine with the previous service into one to make a really easily accessible location right at your fingertips. A teaser 8, they're going to release of a mutant serum. This is where the real magic begins. All holders of the last soul NFT will be given a special a special airdrop in their wallets. No one is quite certain where the reward will be yet, but there are rumors floating around that is not something you want to miss out on. So yes, they are going to be working on an airdrop and they won't be exactly telling you what it is yet. A teaser 9, big things to expect. The last soul is meant to bring people together. When people come together, amazing things happen. We will take our project to the next level. Whether it may be, imagine piling up with a big firm or collaborating with another NFT, like something the market has never seen before. We've seen this with other projects, and in my opinion, it's a great move to look at, especially later down the line. But yeah, that, that could be extremely exciting. As you come down here, we also get some 3D movements of the NFT itself. Again, they are showing that work has been putting into this project. Now, meet the Guardians of the Souls. Here we actually get to meet the team of the project. From the looks of it, they're not fully docs or anything at the moment. However, they most likely will be as the project moves on. But that's in my opinion something to look out for. So, Pewando, the founder, is residing in the UK. He is looking to build the most exclusive group of avatars in the metaverse and is a top rated designer and cybersecurity engineer. And he has been in the world of NFTs since 2018. And here we got the rest of the team, people working as a 3D artist, developer, animator, video editor and so on. But again, definitely something for you guys to keep an eye out on, on this whole team. As we come down here, we also get a glimpse of the art they are working on, which again, I'm not going to I'm not gonna keep repeating myself, but it's extremely impressive. And here are some marketplaces where they are looking to be um, listed on. So we'll see, we've touched on, obviously, Digital Eyes. I would love to see Magic Eden, as in my opinion, is a much more popular marketplace at the moment. But they also have Cross Mint, which means you'll be able to purchase these NFTs with your debit card, which, in my opinion, is going to be making it more accessible to a wider audience. And guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Remember, the one star giveaway this is your last chance to enter. I'll be announcing the winner later tonight. And with that being said, it's been by Crypto Alert. Peace.